If physics is the most fundamental science, then everything that there is in the world, including ourselves and including free will, if there is free will, ultimately has to be at least implicitly included in the description of the world that's given us by physics. Okay. So from that point of view, everything else that's described by the special sciences, including neuroscience, social psychology, ordinary psychology, that's all ultimately a more coarse-grained description um, of what's described completely and precisely and at the most fine-grained level in physics. But do you not agree that at higher levels of the hierarchy of existence, particularly for human sentience, there are things happening that are in principle, in principle, not describable at lower levels. It depends what you mean by describe and it depends what you mean by in principle. So the goal of physics is ultimately to at least implicitly encompass all of what there is, including all of the you know, phenomenal feel that is the way uh, uh, listening to a symphony feels to you. It's a matter of great controversy and it's an unsettled question whether physics ever will be able to resolve that goal. I think right now it's not the case, in my view, that we have any um, knockdown arguments that that's not possible. It's certainly what what physics strives to achieve, and it's what the completeness of physics, if physics ever does realize that goal, will consist in.